From nuclear testing weapons to his fiery relationship with US President Donald Trump, North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un is one of the most notorious dictators in the world. Well, today he's taken some time out of his political diary to have a world-exclusive chat with us, and I, I believe he's just arrived. Oh, oh, welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Supreme Leader. Do come and have a seat. I think we have a uh, interpreter. So uh, here's the uh, here's the interpreter. Welcome, welcome. This is David, our interpreter. So um, it's a uh, uh, it's a pleasure to have him uh, here on uh, on our sofa. How has his trip to London been so far? <coughs> Supreme Leader, how has your trip to London been so far? Fantastic. The Supreme Leader says his trip to London has been wonderful, he's seen all the sights and he loves to be here. Brilliant. Well, um, he met the leader of South Korea this week. It's been very busy. How has his talks been going? Supreme Leader, how have your talks with South Korea been going? <clears throat> Great, and there'll be no World War Three for now. The Supreme Leader says they've been going very well. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. Um, I don't think we actually need the... Uh... <coughs> Although I kind of want to You're keep very you. Good. You were very good. You were very good. good. Yeah, I very good. A, I even got a phrase book. <laughs> you even got a phrase book. <laughs> <laughs> he's, from our, he's from our news desk. I love you. You <laughs> are yeah. wasted on the news well desk. Well done, David. Bye. See well you in a done. Minute. I actually studied in Switzerland, so I can speak English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's very a bit well. of a twang there as well. What's that twang? Wow, I'm not really the real one, guys. <laughs> um, I, I'm actually Howard X. Uh, um, I'm from Australia. Yeah. I'm Australian, Chinese Australian. And um, yeah, being an impersonator of Kim Jong un has been my job the last five years. Or so. It's fantastic. I mean, how, how did you get into it? I mean, when did you first sort of realise you, you looked like him? Uh, 2012, right. when his father introduced him to the world stage and go, wow, this really looks like me. <laughs> I can make a living as a genocidal maniac. Look well, at least looking like one. <laughs> well, you, so, I mean, you were, you are making quite quite a successful living out of it. Well, surprisingly, yes. Uh, I mean, I've been a music producer for many years, but that this... must, that's must scare the artists. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Well, they have a sense of humour, so you know, I produce for a group called Bossa Negra. Yeah. And uh, but being Kim has actually my been my claim to fame. Yeah. And has been my main source of income.